Cactus Canyon, folks, what a brilliant game this is. First of all, I've got to say a massive thank you to Phil and Pinball Heaven because I've had this game for a couple of weeks now. The only one in the country, by the way. So I'm going to talk you through it. And if you're in on one, if you've basically got one lined up to buy, you're not going to be disappointed. So that's just the short version uh, of it. This is going off to Tilt now. I'll put the link to Tilt in the description below. Basically, it's a pinball bar in Birmingham, if you don't know already. So you're going to be able to go and play this on location. Uh, Phil generously sent it down so as I could review it, hopefully get some good video footage uh, of it. Hopefully it doesn't, it's going today basically, so hopefully it's not all out of focus or anything like that and I can do it some justice. I've already done a an initial review which was on Pinball Heaven's YouTube channel. If you haven't subscribed, go and check it out now just in YouTube, just in the search bar, put Pinball Heaven. I've had it another week since then and boy have I played it I mean I've really played this game so much um, and so I, I feel now confident enough to talk you through some aspects of the game so not only will I in this video show you around the play field and show you a bit of the cabinet like I did in the initial Pinball Heaven, Pinball Heaven Buyers review uh, hopefully a little bit more in-depth gameplay because I've learned the rules not only have I learned the rules after after playing it for a number of days I did realize that actually sorry it's over here somewhere that the game <laughs> with a manual now i've had a few new in box games and one of the things that did impress me about this is it came with a manual it's the first new in box i've had that came with a manual i could have just read the rules but anyway i learned the hard way it's been a lot of fun i've got at the moment i've got uh what have we got here monster bash and i've got attack from mars so I've got a good level of games to compare this with, and they've done a cracking job with this one. I don't claim to know the full story about Cactus Canyon and Cactus Canyon Continued, and I've been told it, but in all honesty, I sort of forget bits and pieces of it. But let's just say it wasn't a finished game. This is, it's absolutely brilliant. Now, what, I'm, what we're gonna be playing on this is the initial code, the first code. Now, I'm still waiting for clarification uh, from CGC on this. But um, as I understand it, there, there may well be some code updates on this particular game, but also there should be an add-on. I, I don't know, as I say, I'm waiting for clarification. When I say an add-on, almost a different game, an additional bolt-on game. And obviously, sadly, Lyman Sheets passed away, and I don't know if that's what he was working on. Um, but what they've certainly done in this version and this early code here is I think obviously completely revamped all the graphics. The screen is outstanding, by the way. This video won't do the screen justice. You'd have to see it in the flesh. Um, clearly, they finished up all the codes, and and there's there's a nice, easy to understand um, way to plot the course through the game. Very similar to actually Attack from Mars or a Monster Bash. Very clear and obvious what you've got to do but in the meantime I've managed to learn a few of the nuances and um, and parts of the gameplay which hopefully I'll be able to talk you through I've been playing it on three ball just so you know um, as there you go grand champion 193 million is my best score um, I'm hopefully I'm going to blast that now because I'm going to play it onto five ball because I'm not the best player in the world as regular watchers of this channel will know and what I don't want to do is put it on three ball and fail miserably if there are a few edits in it it's I'm not even going to pretend that I'm I'm a brilliant player so I'll try and get as close as I can to wizard mode. Uh, there's a mini wizard mode and a main wizard mode. Um, as close as I can with a five ball game and all extra balls switched on. So should be uh, a bit of a laugh. Uh, just before I take you on a tour of the play field, it's really well... It gets me every time. Um, it's, it's really well built. Really well built. Um, even things like the plunger are just... It's just solid. I'm so impressed with how this company makes their pinball machines. I've heard different things about the flippers on CGC. I don't know, they just seem right, seem really good, different, a slightly different feel, but um, but better. If you remember when I did the Alien video, I was saying I was having to adjust the power and I had to boost the power on the Alien flippers quite a lot in the end. Out of the box, this is just great. And by the way, there is, uh, we've got a couple of videos coming up as well. We've got the unboxing video for this game and uh, myself and Spencer uh, do a nice doubles game on this as well, uh, which uh, we're gonna be trying to do that as a feature on the channel of myself and Spencer playing doubles. Um, on, on pretty much everything. It's rock solid, by the way. A lot of the things on this game are solid metal. I think it's probably easier if I explain it to you when I'm moving the camera around because at least then I can deal with it in, in sort of um, in chronological order and hopefully not um, 
not forget bits and pieces as I'm doing it. It's really, really good though. I mean, it is, it's a very good game. It's great fun. Um, my son's been playing it loads. Um, there's, um, there's, there's not a massive depth to the game, if truth be known. It's not a really, really deep game. But it's about the same as Monster Bash. So I got those. They're about the same as Attack from Mars. I think the the difference what you might have here is if you get that, that bolt on that add on which you which you can buy. I do wonder what that's going to be. You may well find that there's a whole other game added to it. And um, certainly what they've done with the animations here, I, I, there's a lot of scope for different stuff on here. And perhaps in a way that Chicago Gaming Company couldn't do with uh, Monster Bash. Medieval Madness, Attack from Mars, because they were already finished. I guess what this has allowed them to do is because this game wasn't finished, it's allowed them a bit of a blank canvas to go as far as they want. Callouts are excellent, they're funny. I can't tell you what was in what was incorporated in the original and, and what's new. Don't know because I don't know that much about the original. But I'll tell you what, in terms of gameplay, in terms of fun, um, in terms of finished game, in terms of quality, this is, is as good as anything. I might have racked up don't know how many I could have looked I guess 50 70 games or something I've played it a lot maybe even 100 games um, I don't know I'll tell you what I do love about this game it's full of personality it's full of charisma and it is it's fun um, and it's something I'm, I'm sort of been I'll stop talking a minute and we'll show you the game it's something I've been looking at quite a lot actually um, is when games like that I've got like Deadpool like Batman as I say a monster bash these games, they've all got personality, they've all got fun, they've all got charisma. Um, and this this is great. I don't think you can really beat so the old Bally Williams games um, for that. What I'll do is let me just talk you through the shots first, and I'll try and incorporate some footage, so at least then you know uh, what you're going to be uh, dealing with. So on the left-hand side, you've got a, a couple of targets. Now, um, there's targets on the left-hand side and the right-hand side. When you light all those targets, you qualify for a quick draw. Basically, a bad guy jumps up from the playfield and you and you have to knock him down. Now, this happens intermittently, people popping up from the playfield, but it's not annoying like uh, like Scolari Brothers is on Ghostbusters. It seems right, it doesn't seem overbearing, and it seems to sort of tie in as part of the game. It seems like it, it was meant to be there. Um, on the left, you've got an orbit shot, uh, left orbit, which uh, which either goes can go into the pops or it can go back orbit and loop right round. Uh, your next ramp, you've got a ramp that that feeds back to the left and down to this uh, left flipper here. Uh, that's I call that the river ramp. It may even be called the river ramp. Uh, then you've got a scoop. The scoop is in the mine shaft uh, just there. The mine shaft is also animated, very very. Very well built as well. A um, lot of heavy metal parts in that. Um, then you have the, the middle ramp, the centre ramp, which is um, a, a, a tie poly to the train ramp. Um, probably not called that, but that's what I call it. Uh, will then go up through the middle and the ball will actually travel down uh, the train track and, and back again to the left flipper. Then you have a sort of jump shot, not quite as jumpy as uh, No Good Gophers, but that jumps into, um, that's a Bart Brothers shot. Uh, Bart Brothers, that's the bad dude, it's the animated character on the back of the play field. Uh, you have to hit him a number of times, and there, there's a number of them, and you got get if you get through to the end, you get through to Bionic Bart, which is sort of mini-wizard mode. Uh, to the right of that, you've got another orbit, but that's not the furthest right shot. So that will either go into a scoop, or it can orbit back round and come back round uh, to the left flipper. Then the furthest right shot is actually, um, it's actually, it's another ramp, it's a third ramp. Wasn't expecting that. What would normally be an orbit on most games is a ramp on here, feeds the ball back down to this right flipper here. Um, there's also, as I say, two targets on the right hand side, plus you've got the the lane for the, the plunger lane where the ball, um, sort of twirls um, and whirlpools around into the middle. And you've got two posts that pop up on either side of the flipper that initiates a gunfight. Plus you've also got uh, your beer bottle here. Um, so that sort of jumps up when you hit them. Much the same way as the gargoyles do in Elvira House of Horrors. Right, let me give you a little tour around the playfield now. Let's have a look at the cabinet, shall we? I won't go mad, hopefully you've seen this in the Pinball Heaven video where we, we take a little bit of a closer look on it. Please excuse the light reflecting on it, but I, I do need light to be able to film uh, the video. Obviously, uh, 
great, it's colourful, it's, it's of a Western theme, so barbed wire, I haven't just noticed that actually. Bullets flying out of the sort of denim crest which contains the, the logo. Gecko, little gecko, is it a gecko? I think so. Um, everything's brilliant. I mentioned earlier, the plunger is so well made. I don't know what it is, just really lovely spring action on it, which is fabulous. The, the revolvers and the apron, I mean, it's stunning, isn't it? What I did notice straight away was the button. Buttons, why do I keep calling them buttons? Uh, the bullets are metal. Uh, it's just solid. They haven't mucked around on this. I don't know too much about CGC, but I'm, I'm guessing they're pinball enthusiasts, really. They know how to make a pinball machine. That much is for sure. The revolvers, they're, they're not... Um, they're not metal, but you know what? They they are solid. It's not it's not thin or flimsy or anything like that. It's not like moulded where there's a recess underneath. They're they they're the same. You know, they're solid throughout sort of thing. Um, they I thought they might get in the way of your vision of you. It doesn't. It's the same with the it's a, the theme runs throughout really. The train which travels across the playfield as a hurry up. Oh, it's brilliant. Creates real drama. That's metal. The train. Um. As I understand it, the limited edition has the sleepers on it. This one doesn't. The limited edition also has a little mine cart on the top there and would have the art blades. I'm pretty sure there'll be aftermarket add-ons uh, which you can buy for that. This is the special edition. You know what? It's good enough. It's good enough. Uh, the limited edition has a topper, but you can actually buy the topper as an upgrade to this. So I'll put the link below. Link to Pinball Heaven, you can via the, the additional bits if you want to. It's an interactive topper, uh, apparently. I mentioned a mine shaft earlier. This is really well made, really. I mean, it's, it's, it's solid, it, it's, it's heavy, that is heavy. Um, Bart there, who's the, the bad dude, you've got to keep hitting him, or what Bart Brothers shot, whatever it is. Um, he's really well made as well. You get, you, I was, <laughs> it's hair replacement therapy, that being said. But you always get the impression with these bash toys, I always wonder how they're going to hold up to a steel pinball smacking into them. It does. Um, that, that's really cool in there, by the way. The, um, the pop bumper section with the cactus. Cacti? Cactus? -s 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 -s? Whatever it is. Who cares? Um, the whole thing's just beautifully made. Uh, the screen's stunning. Really Really stunning uh, speakers. Good sound quality on it. Really good sound quality. Um, there you go. Bit of artwork there. It's beautiful. I'll be sorry to see this go. I, I, I really will. I really will be sorry to see this go. I've been playing it a lot. Um, let me just talk you through the lights, by the way, so I can sort of try and talk you through the, the, the modes of the game. Okay. So, um, this is a wizard mode. What you've got to do is, is plot your way through the game. I don't know if you can hopefully see this, how well it focuses. Stranger partner, deputy sheriff, marshal. Um, you get promoted. You've got to clean up this town, basically. You've got to clean up Cactus Canyon. Um, you collect the bounty shots um, and you get the upgrades by hitting the ramp there where, where Bart is. Um, there's all manner of extras and whatnot that you can get. So uh, obviously, as much the same as a lot of games, if you like all of these, you get to wizard mode. I'll just, let me just tell you exactly what they are. Combos, okay, every time, you, you can see the, the white shots, hopefully, which are lit above each ramp there. Combo, there's a combo there. Combo on this one, combo on this one. Basically, you've got to hit 10 combos. Not even in a row, you've just got to complete 10 combos and that will light there. Um, get the Bart Brothers, you've just got to keep hitting this shot and complete all the modes uh, for Bart, who's, as I say, is the, the, ba the bad dude cowboy at the back. You, you've got to keep hitting him. Uh, get to Bionic Bart, which is sort of mini wizard mode. Um, showdown, showdown's really cool. Okay, so you've got these targets here which are light, quick draw. When you light a quick draw, a bad dude will pop up from the playfield. Not annoying, um, as I may have mentioned in one of the other videos. Um, not annoying like Scaleri Brothers, but they'll pop up just randomly. Um, and you've got to shoot them. Bad dude will pop up, and then once you've done that, it will, it, one of these inserts will stay lit. Bad guy, bad guy, bad guy, bad guy. 
When all of that happens, you get a showdown, which is I think is a two ball multi ball, if memory serves me correctly. Um, knock them all down, score points, that would like that. Stampede, okay, Stampede is when you have completed every mode. So you have this mode here, which is Ride'em Cowboy mode. You go Bucking Bronco Wild Ride, Ride'em Cowboy. Hopefully you can see there. Once you complete that mode, then you complete this mode here, White Water Waterfall, save Polly. Polly gets herself in a lot of trouble, gets kidnapped, um, gets taken during a bank heist, gets tied to a railway track. So once you've completed that, you've completed that. This one, save Polly from the train, which is a great mode, by the way, particularly as you have a hurry up here to remind you. Basically, the train is traveling along the play field um, and you've got to save Polly. Uh, before you get to the end. Great animation before the, the train basically gets to its destination. Um, there's uh, there's great animations when all this is going on. Not that you have an awful lot of time to look at them. So you complete that. Then you complete this one, the marksman sort of orbit, and then complete this safe poly. So once you've completed all the modes on the ramps, uh, then that will light stampede, which is a multi-ball mode, mode. Basically every shot is lit for jackpot. Um, the final one here, Mother Load, that's when you get um, Mineshaft Multi-Ball, I believe it's called. Um, lock three balls into there, you get a multi-ball. Each one of these jackpot signs will be lit. I hope you can see those there. Hit all of those, and then it will give you one final shot for Mother Load. It'll actually tell you it as well in the, in the call-outs. You hit the scoop for that, you get Mother Load. Then, High Noon at the OK Corral. Um, I've forgotten what you have to hit to get that. Um, it's either uh, it's either the Bart shot or it's this uh, left orbit there. Um, I'm gonna try and go for it now. I'm gonna try and show you the game. And uh, yeah, let's let's see how we do. Hopefully you, you really enjoy it. it it's, um, it's a great game, honestly. Can't recommend it highly enough. Right folks, Cactus Canyon. I've set it off to have lots of balls, lots of extra balls, all the stuff. I'm going to show you wizard mode now. I'm in terrible form, so please excuse the terrible gameplay. I should have recorded my game the other day, actually. Um, okay, the skill shot. It's up here. You can see there's a noose around quick draw. If I were to drop that down the hole very quickly, I'd get quick draw. And the longer the ball stays spinning in here, the further that will move along. I'll try and demonstrate. I'll probably get quick draw anyway, but there you go. Bad dude pops up, managed to shoot them straight away. Okay. So, um, you can already see there's, there's one light on the play field because I, I already had one, what we'd call a quick draw. And there was a jackpot and a bounty lit there, which I collected. Also, hitting Bart there, which just hit very, very important for your progress to get towards Bionic Bart. Gunfight is lit now. A post has popped up, much like Jurassic Park or Star Wars. Random bad guys are popping up from the playfield. Oh my word, I don't know how I managed to miss that. Um, and unfortunately, that's a, that's a bit of a miss, that, because that's a good opportunity to up my rank along here. We're now in marksman mode. Now, if, a bit like Megalodon in Jurassic, oh, not Jurassic Park, in Deadpool, the shot is moving around the playfield. And I've got it. So I'm very pleased about that. There's a bad guy up there. I'm not sure I can get him on the backhand. I can't. You see him just there. You go. I just managed to hit him then. Congratulations, okay, marksman is still on, so you can see the, that it's flashing there. It's on a countdown timer. That's not it at all. Um, but for the purposes of this video, I don't really care if I get it or not. I just want to show you wizard mode. So technically, I've I've lit that mode. The only mode I really care about showing you is gunfight mode, which I've already shown you. Um, save Polly from the train mode, which is achieved by hitting this ramp three times. One, two, three, it's just a fantastic mode. Um, and actually the bionic bar. Now, as, as I say, you've got to keep it in bar to get that progress there. But the rest of it, I just want to light these lights as much as possible. Also hitting this um, 
this beer bottle here, I think it's 15 times to get you an extra ball. Each extra ball is going to be valuable for showing you the game today. Got another gunfight. I hope I'll do a little better this time. Did it. Bit of a fluke, but I'll take it. Now I'm up to partner, if you'll see that there. So I want to try and hit the bounty shot again. I've got a quick draw. Hit another bad guy there. That wasn't bad, obviously, but so I've got three bad guys lit now. The gunfights don't add to your bad guy tally. That's something completely different. Okay, I've collected the jackpot then from the gunfight. The bounty, should I say, from the jackpot. Oh, that was a chance. Oh, I did. I cleared all the bad guys. That's a stroke of luck. So now I'm into showdown, which is two ball multi ball. If I managed to, which I haven't, funny enough, get all of those targets down, it would have gone to a three ball multi ball, which is a real shame. But technically, I've competed in showdown. This is another mode here where Polly is getting herself into all manner of trouble. I've actually just rescued Polly. Sorry, there's so much going on there. Actually, one mode was finishing. Um, and there, were another, there were two modes going on there, which made it very hard to basically explain. But by hitting that ramp, I rescued Polly. There we go. So, and I've got an extra ball as well. And showdown is lit. And now, hopefully, no, I thought that might have taken me to deputy. It hasn't. I've got to win another gunfight to get to deputy. And then clicks the bouncy. There we go. You've been promoted to deputy. There you go. He just told me I've been promoted to deputy. Okay. We're not doing too badly, actually. Not doing. We're doing better than I thought we would. So what have I got? I've got. These all lit, I've got those lit. I'm, I'm holding it down at the moment so you can't see, but I've got three of the four bad guys. And I've got all the bad guys lit, of course, haven't I? I've got Showdown. Um, I need to get one more of those, one more of those. And of course, this middle ramp, which is the one I'm really keen to show you. Funny enough, I find the middle ramp a lot harder to hit off this flipper. It's easier off of this flipper. Got another save poly from whatever nonsense she gets into, which I've done. Thank you. Um, so what we got? So we got that lit, that lit. Then so we just got Ride and Cowboy. And uh, obviously we need to do a multi ball as well. And we need to then start dealing with the with the Bart modes basically. It would really help if I could <laughs> hit that bloody ramp. There we go. Let's try and... Oh, is he going to... Yes! One more of those. Well, not that one. Okay, we'll take that. Gold my multi-ball. Now, if you remember here, this is an opportunity to light mother load. But first of all, I need to hit all of the jackpots before I can get that scoop shot. This is... You ain't doing wizard mode until you've basically done this. Ever. Unfortunately, I didn't get Mother Load because our oh, Mother Load is lit. It's too late though because I lost the ball. Damn it. That's a real shame. So that's a good that was a good opportunity. I shouldn't have done that really. I'd never play multi ball like that. It sort of kills the fun of the multi ball, really, doesn't it? I try to play single shots. I just tried to be a little bit too clever there. Ryden Cowboy is in that left, left shot. Doesn't really matter whether I do or if I don't. In a bigger scheme of things now. Which is just as well, because I seem to not be able to hit the shot anyway. There you go, there it is. 
completed that. So most things are lit, apart from save Polly from the train. Which you're gonna have to do now. Oh no, Stampede! I've basically completed every mode, so now I'm in Stampede mode, which is really important to try and get to Wizard mode. Unfortunately, I don't think you get to see Polly being saved from the train, so the train's not, not travelling across the play field. My words. Sort it out. Well, that was just a terrible, terrible go at stampede mode. But it doesn't matter because I've lit it. Terrible total. What do you think you're doing? Two of the worst multi balls you'll ever see. But I'm disappointed you didn't see saving Polly from the train. However, it is on our other videos when I do a, um, a doubles game with Spencer. It's also on the Pinball Heaven video. Maybe be on our unboxing video, not entirely sure. And I've not, so I need to get combos, uh, Bart Brothers. There's quite a lot to do still here. The mother load is... Just There's going to be now. no way to get that easily. Ah, yeah, oh, we're in Bart mode. This is really good. This is a really cool mode. So I've now got to hit jackpots. And then I can increase the value of Bionic Bart, basically. I need to hit a jackpot, though, really. Well, that's not... Actually, I actually have to believe it. Even if you lose a ball, you're still in Bionic Bart mode. I've got the combos, which I'm pleased about. Not, not bothered about the score at all in many respects. Um, I hope I don't get to beat my top score on this one. Okay. Oh, for goodness sake. I, I am a terrible, terrible sheriff. I, I am a sheriff now, I don't know if you noticed that, by the way. Thank you. Bionic Bart. So again, I've got to hit some jackpots there. There's an extra ball waiting for me. I'm not going to go for that particularly. I want to get these jackpots. And get Bionic Bart again. This is actually a fantastic mode. I'm probably not doing a very good job of explaining it at the moment. So I'm going to try and hit Bionic Bart and collect that. I've just done. Can you see the jackpots going up every time? Now I've got to hit, Bionic Bart's not available to hit yet until I've hit another jackpot. Good to say. I'll take that extra ball though. So it's a really good mode, Bionic Bart, to score points on. Now, now he's lit. You can see that. See what I mean? He sounds like Arnold Schwarzenegger. Oh my word, come on. No, we'll take that, we'll take that. But you've got to hit the shot, man. Come on. Yes, I got it. Well, oh, Doc, got it. Come on. Oh my word. Accuracy is so off today. I've got to get Bionic Bart. I really wouldn't. Come on, that's it, surely. No, I haven't hit him. Basically, I've got it up the ramp, but I'm not hitting him. Another bad guy. I don't have to hit the bad guy. I think I will. But... Okay, so I got Bionic Bart then. Do you see the big score I got? Defeated Bionic Bart. Now, hopefully, you can see I have all of this completed. I'm not Marshall yet, but I, I've got to complete Mother Load. That's what I need to complete. And as, as I pointed out earlier, that's all about the extra ball. Ready, 
Oh, that's I'm, I don't really mind. I'm going to try and hit that scope there. That's that's fine. Oh, my oh, word. Well, that's a terrible thing. Shoot again. Uh, none of this really matters now because I'm just sort of all just going for one thing, really. Bothered about it. Which is that. Marksman was going again. I don't care. It, it, that's a real shame, actually, because because I didn't. I'm having to light the lock again because I didn't take advantage of my first mine shaft multi ball. Okay. Mine. Gold shot mine shot multiple. Gold mine multiple. I've got to get it out of that middle ramp. No, not again, not again, please. Oh my word, it's just painful. I do apologise. Okay, mother load is lit, which is the scoop shot basically. I think mother load's lit anyway. Yes, surely. Mother load, I got it. Thank goodness for that. Okay, everything is lit. The cameras, the cameras are rolling, which I'm pleased about. Okay, so, whew. everything's lit there. Just to take you through it again, combo, 10 combos. Mother load, hit all the jackpots on whatever it is, gold mine multi ball, then hit mother load, finish on the scoop. Stampede, you have to complete all the lights on the play field. Showdown, you have to have got all the bad guys, then complete showdown multi-ball, get the Bart brothers, carry on hitting the Bart shot, go through all the modes. Shame you haven't seen Polly, the Polly mode on the train, um, but I guess I'm still technically in multi-ball. Got my multi-ball, okay, that's fine. Not too bothered, okay, so that's fine. I don't mind losing that ball. So, 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 so. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure how we how we play this mode. Um, I'm really not actually. I should know really. How do, how do we activate high noon at the OK Corral? Is it that? Yes, it is. Oh no, it's high noon. Shoot twenty bad guys. Eleven bad guys. In, okay. Let's shoot lots of bad guys. I have played this before. So I, I believe I remember right. The balls just just keep coming. Take three left, I think I said three left. I won. There you go. And funny enough, I hadn't even completed or got to Marshall. Okay. 
I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll have one go of trying to stop Polly the, the train. We'll try and do the, the Polly thing, just to show you that. But I've shown you wizard mode. That's wizard mode, folks, okay? Oh, my word. You may be waiting here a little while. I have no idea why I'm dying here. Why I just did that. Okay, that's one. No. Hopefully we'll see it here. Once I hit that middle ramp again, you're gonna it's gonna go through the sequence of, of, of saving Polly from the train. Polly is tied to the train track. You have to hit this shot, you have to hit that shot, and then you have to hit this middle shot. Hitting the middle shot at any point slows the train down. The train progresses. Basically, Polly's tied to the track. The, the train's gonna squish her. Okay, so that's what we've got to do, save her. Oh my words. Oh, my. <laughs> oh dearie me. Honestly, honestly. I can't even plunge the Look at me, I can't even plunge the ball. How bad am I? I sorry, I really, I really am. Oh my word. <laughs> you may just get to see wizard mode. To be fair, I'm amazed I did that. So uh, that, that'll. Hey! Oh, that's not it. I've got to do one more. Is that right? No, I can't show you save Polly from the train. Oh, do you know what? There you go. Do you know what? I'm actually going to leave it there because what I don't want to do is ruin my scores. Um, so I'm actually going to I'm going to let the ball drain. I'm going to turn the game off um, and just leave the scores on there because it's it's not you know, it's not a proper bona fide game. That one certainly. Hopefully you've seen wizard. Well, you've definitely seen wizard mode. Sorry I didn't get to show you um, saving Polly from the train. It really is a great mode. Hopefully you'll agree. It's a fantastic game uh, for anybody that's got one of these is going to thoroughly enjoy it if you want to go and play it it's in tilt sort of imminently please do check their website check their instagram their facebook check their the relevant social media just to make sure it is there and available to play but it's certainly leaving here uh, today anyway hopefully you've enjoyed the video we've got two or three other cactus canyon videos coming out uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe and if you're watching this channel for the first time we do have a podcast called the chinwag so go and check it out